What's up everybody, it's your favorite bird of praise, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at TFC's Dive Bomb, and he's probably my favorite of the set, um, but not with that as issues. So, head is on a ball joint, and it, the articulation range is very, very impressive, and it hinges at the base too, because there's this weird thing that pushes down for transformation, but it is pretty cool, and the head sculpt is also uh, cool. Not, not, not very accurate, but certainly more in line than we've seen, especially with Razor Claw. Uh, red paint on the head as well it looks nice. Shoulders are this, oh, that probably didn't sell this guy very well. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, on a hinge there, and then a swivel, a ratcheted swivel around, so that's good to go. Uh, bicep swivel right above the elbow, and the elbow gets you 90 degrees. Um, the bicep also is on a hinge, so it's like a, it actually it acts as a double jointed elbow. So that's nice. Uh, the black paint is done well, it's sharp, it's clean, same on the forearm, and then the hands are stupid as we've seen before. Same on the other side, the yellow on the chest looks fantastic. Um, the red and translucent looks good on the bird chest, which is on his head, and you can uh, take it up, push this down. I hate this, I hate, I hate the engineering of this head. So, let's see here. peekaboo out here and you can have the, the bird head behind him and a more G1 look. Uh, waist swivels and then it's also loose by the way and then the uh, gray paint is done well in there as well. The, her the, the hip skirts fold up so that's nice and then you get the ratcheted it's a soft ratchet forward hard ratchet out universal joint thigh swivel right above the knee or actually right below the knee <laughs> So it's like a cast swivel more so, but that's fine on a robot. And then the knee gets you 90 degrees. Um, and the red is painted down here. That This is red plastic, sorry. So this gold paint on there, the red there is painted well. And the feet do kind of suck, but they stand really well. They're on a ball joint. Um, it's a ball peg. The socket is up in the calf, and then you get the little bit of rocker. No real tilt. Um, but he will stand like a champ because of these huge bird claws. Um, behind him. Uh, this backpack plugs into the lower holes here and then uh, you can unpeg this. I have it on backwards but they would peg in. You can unpeg this and then you get all the articulation of there if you want it but I, you're supposed to leave it there for dive bomb and then you get this bit here that comes out and then each one of these is on a hinge and a swivel where it plugs in because they also come out and then you can hold them as swords uh, which I think is uh, reaching a bit but the option is yours if you have it and then the black paint and gold paint looks good on the wings overall and uh, that's this fella. Let's try to get him in combined mode so let's take the backpack off because it's just going to inevitably fall off um, We'll put the hand away, and we'll do that on both sides, and we'll bring these up and tab them in. Then we're going to push the head down, and we're just going to leave this beak back here, I think. We'll bring out the bird beak. Maybe that goes. I don't know. This comes down. This combiner port comes down. And then, like that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe like that. And let's see. Uh, we'll collapse the feet here. And we have to pull, the, pull that out. Both our hip skirts, I think. 
kids are going crazy. All right, and bring these, spread these out a bit, bring these up, and they kind of stay right in there. And then you bring the fist, Plug the fist in, and I guess you can rotate these this way, and like that, and there's the arm. Um, and it is a fine arm, uh, but it, it doesn't really articulate, uh, except for there, like that's the elbow, but you'll see in combined mode, it doesn't, it, it's, it's too flimsy and it just starts to fall apart. Um, because the amount of force that it takes to move that ratchet, um, it doesn't really um, lend itself to do so. Let's get him into burr mode and we'll wrap it up. Fist out, uh, bring the feet around, open. This, uh, I don't exactly know. What I'm doing here. I thought I did. There it is. All right. There's the bird head. Um, you have to unplug these and plug them in to the hip skirts. Just easier said than done. I have found. too much pressure on this thing. And you end up collapsing it anyway, so let's just try to do that. There. And then, uh, I think that's move those around. And I think, I believe that's it. And then you plug the, uh, plug the wings in. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Good night. This thing is irritating me. Good thing I'm going to anger management. All right. And then those arms plug into the, the hip skirts. Um, I'm not going to fight with it again, but you get the general idea. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a bird. Um, I really like the beak. Um... I wonder if he'll stand for me. Okay. I really like the beat a lot. Um, I like the more Hulk look. Uh, actually, I like it more than MMC's because I thought that MMC's was a little stout. Um, the jaw articulates to there, so that's cool. We've already talked about the wing articulation. Um, you don't really get the waist swivel anymore because it's locked in place. You get the legs that get the same universal joint movement, the ankles, and then the ball jointed. Uh, feet which work much better in bird mode than they do in bot mode and this would be nice if it stayed on right but uh yeah and then the tail feathers are all individually articulated as well which is a nice touch so
Kaka. So I easily like this guy the best so far. Um, uh, Dive Bomb was my favorite anyway. But the problems are is that the engineering for the head, it just it gets jammed up, it gets stuck. Everything the TFC does that revolves sliding a piece into another piece never works smoothly. And, and it follows through in every piece on this set because they all use the same type of engineering for the legs and then like the head and, and all that kind of stuff. Like it's just, it's very frustrating. And then outside of that, it's the same problems as before with everything is kind of, um, like it just, I think like the, the finish, like the color finish, even though the paint and everything is done well, the color finish of the plastic, it just looks, it just looks cheap. It doesn't look like a hundred dollar product. Now the paint is phenomenal, um, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. Once again, true to form, the paint is great and the articulation works fairly well. This guy has a problem with things kind of sticking together, right? It's, it, there's a lot of frustration here, but once you get it, it's, it's a really fun piece. This is one that, that is actually, like, had I started with this, I think I would have been more disappointed as I went on. But since I started with Headstrong and Tantrum, it's actually a breath of fresh air in a lot of ways. Like, it's just, and, and it might be because the engineering required and all the transformation required to go from bot to bird is a lot easier than to a quadruped type of unit. So that might be what it is, but whatever it is, and, you know, anything with wings is cool, right? So that, that definitely puts a, a check in its plus category, and... And yeah, this this one I needed I needed a break to be honest. So this was this was actually well well needed. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Well, good day, Mr. Skullface. How are we doing this morning? Fine. Are we? That's great to hear. So lots to talk about today. Last week we we spoke about you know you expressing your feelings to other people and and finding somewhat healthy ways to resolve conflict without getting violence or too angry. But today we're going to be talking about tolerance. I don't, I, I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at, but my general thoughts on humanity is that if you're not hurting other people, and if I love you, and you're not hurting yourself, I'm, I, I'm fine. Mm. I'm fine. But, if I don't love you, like if I don't know you, don't love you, and you're hurting yourself, I'm okay with that too. Well, that's... that's. It's only going to make the freeway move a little faster in the morning. Well, that's indifference. And we'll get back to that. Because so, indifference is, is part of this as well. But we're speaking of, you know, just because somebody is doing something that may not be pleasing to you at a time, or may be repetitive in nature. Like a clicking noise of a pen. And, you know... Exactly. My point. Yes. I can't stand. I can't stand repetitive noises. Uh, we've, we've come to that. That was a little experiment. Just to express to you. I'm not a lab. I'm not your lab rat. You know, I'm okay with being tolerant of people's lifestyles or whatever, as long as they're not hurting themselves or each other. But, like, I don't think you... I think there's a little bit too much emphasis on it. Mm. You know, like, because I feel like it's, it's a slippery slope. Mm. Like, I don't feel like we need to be tolerant of criminals. Mm. I don't feel like we need to be tolerant of murderers. Well, there's some things we shouldn't... Pedophiles! Tolerate. And why, you know, why is it people that smoke cigarettes? We're not tolerant of them. We gotta make them go stand out in the back. We, we need a civil rights leader for cigarette smokers. Somebody to stand up and say, I will not smoke in the back. I'm gonna smoke in the front and well, blow... Uh, one uh, of your first statements is people hurting themselves. No, that's all, but I, I don't care about them. They can hurt themselves. Oh, I'm fine well, with that. So, so, you wouldn't let your daughters smoke? And no, I mean, not until she's 18. If she's 18, she wants to smoke, she can do whatever she wants. So at 18, you stop caring about her? No, it's not the case, but she's an adult. She can make her own choices. Her own choices, and that's a very good thing, the choice. The choice to, you know, there's a difference between tolerating somebody's poor behavior or accepting that they can make their own choices. Yeah, but we're not tolerating the smoker's behavior. We're, set, we're telling them to get in the back. We're telling them to go stand across. Like, you're growing past a government I think, building I or a hospital. There's a group of people across the street. It's like you're in high school again. A group of people across the street smoking a cigarette. Mr. Skullface, I think there's a difference between setting clear boundaries, where we talked about before, setting boundaries on people's behaviors, you know, and then, and then addressing those behaviors. For example, if you were in the, the theater again and somebody was smoking a cigarette, then that probably wouldn't have been appropriate. And, and that's a behavior that you shouldn't tolerate. You've, you've established... Good guidelines. You know what else I, I don't want to tolerate? What's that? Those little things you cough up that sit in the back of your throat. Ah. I like to call them brains. They're like little pieces of brain. Yes. They're kind of stinky. Oh, yeah. I always smell my fingers. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. I love that smell. I hate it. It's a, it's, it's, it's grotesque, but I do, I do. You can wash your hands ten times, no getting it off. It's like maple syrup, no getting it off. You can touch me. You, you, you're eating pancakes, and you get one little piece of maple syrup on your finger. Whole rest of the day, it's on your steering wheel of your car somehow. You have no idea how it got there. It's it's on your your buttons on your coat. It's on your zipper. It's it's a it's it's like it's it's relentless. Mm. It doesn't go anywhere. It just sticks. It sticks around. It's intolerable. Intolerable. Mm, interesting how we circled back around. Yeah, because I, I don't feel like I don't feel so like. So you feel like people's behavior is this tackiness that is glued on you that you can't wash off. Yeah. It's very interesting. I think we're having a breakthrough this this week. You know what else I'm sick of? I'm sick of blonde hair, blue eyed white people saying they're part Indian. Oh, it's, it's very annoying. It's a very American thing. It is. I've noticed. It know? is. It, like, uh, if you're such if a. They have a need to be part of something other than the Caucasian race. If you're such a Native American, what are you doing at Walmart with a hot pretzel? You got a hot pretzel and a pack of Mike and Ikes. Mm -hmm. And just because you got a, 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 a dream catcher hanging from your, your rear view mirror. Or, or a tattoo of a, of a wolf howling at one. Howling, howling at the dream catcher. Yes. The old uh, Oh, let's talk. Uh, you know what? Let's talk about tattoos. Wow. Look, I like a tattoo. I, I can see. And I like, I like when it means something to somebody. Mm -hmm. But I'm so tired of the cliche tattoos. What this guy. Oh, I don't know. You got the praying hands. You know, like the, the the rosaries hanging from the praying hands. And I got a lot of those guys I talk to, not very Catholic. Ah. But they got the rosary on those praying hands, buddy. You got the tribal tattoos. Well, the, the, we finally moved away. I tell you, like tribal tattoos, the praying hands, the bird silhouettes. Every, especially the girls that got those like up and down their hips, like a flock of birds taken off. That is today's mom with the knife through it, went in the heart. That's today's dragon. I tell you, the other day I was just at Hershey Park. Mm. I saw a ginger. I heard it's the sweetest place on earth. I saw a ginger mm -hmm. with a dragon tattoo on his upper right shoulder on yes. the back. Yes. He must have got it when he was five. Because mm. this guy was probably 50, and it looked more like a uh, salamander was crawling at the back. I mean, it had just gone to sh It looked like a nightmare. And there, I tell you what, that, that, I, I like Hershey Park. The kids get to go on a rise and all that kind of stuff. It's a good time. But I tell you, that is the land of bad tattoos. Mm. Everybody got their tattoo out of a Cracker Jack box. Everybody has a Fisher Price My First Tattoo there. It's like they go in and they're just like, what's popular? And they're like, oh, we got these praying hands. Like, so, you know, it doesn't matter if they're atheists. They got the praying hands on them. And then, like, uh, the, the window sticker art, speaking of design art, Look, I have lost people close to me, but I don't need to put their name on my, my back windshield. Ah, in memory of? Yeah, and you got a little angel wings flying around, and like it, it starts to look cartoony. And now I'm depressed. Ah. Now I'm thinking about your loss. Mm. Why are you trying to ruin my day? Yeah. I was having a fine day. I just got an everything bagel. Mm -hmm. uh, I just got a frappuccino. Those are delicious. They are a tasty treat. Mm. And I got to look at your lost loved one. Oh, boo, boo hoo, boo hoo with your loved ones, and I mean, they're, they're, you got angel wings on. They went to heaven. You ain't happy. You know, that's the end game. That's the end result. Mission accomplished. Uh -huh. You made it. You made it to, to pass boardwalk. Mm. You're in the green. Well, I think there's people that you know want to remember their loved ones actively. Now oh, buy a picture. Get a Shutterfly account. You can't snapfish them. Don't bring me down with your dead friends. <laughs>